So to nest apart, uh, if I want to make uh, a cut with multiple pieces on there from these two parts, you have two options. So you can see underneath cam actions, you have uh, grid nesting and you have true shape nesting. Uh, grid nesting is basically just going to take the um, parts you have on there. If I increase my count on the right-hand side of the screen and click Start Nesting, it's going to take those pieces and just stagger them in a linear pattern. Um, so I have the same kind of distance um, away from each other. It's just copying that pattern. Um, true shape nesting right next to that grid nesting um, is going to actually try and optimize the, the sheet. It's going to flip parts around and try and make your uh, the most uh, use out of your material and save you as much as it can. So you can see once you click true shape nesting on the right hand side of the screen, uh, it knows you have part one and part two. So part one, I'll tell it I want um, 10 of them. Part two, I'll say I want uh, three of them. I know my spacing could be a little bit closer. So once I click start nesting, uh, the, the program should know that this uh, space inside of this part is scrap. And so it's going to try and fill in as much of these uh, part ones inside of there as it can. Just like that. So there's also a couple other options on here. You could click fill sheet and it's going to try and put as many pieces as it can onto that sheet. Um, and I know if I put in for part two, if I say I want um, 20 of them. If I click automatically add work pieces, it's going to um, put work piece two up here. So work piece one, it fits as many as it can. And then whatever's left over at, of that 20 is going to put here on work piece two. Uh, once I, if I'm good with that, I'll, you, you, you want to click the green check mark or enter to accept it. And I got my two parts ready to go to CNC and cut. So to do a part that has two work pieces on it, um, what you're going to do is transfer the first work piece over to CNC to cut that. You'll see I have my parts right there. And I'll come back to CAM once I'm done with that cut. Click on work piece two, click the transfer button, and you can see I have the rest of my parts.